Hi, before I can test my setup is accurate and working as it should, um, I need to install a bit of software that will allow me to access the GPIO port at will at the command line. Um, to do this, I'm going to be using um, some software called Wiring Pi. Now, Wiring Pi is installed under the GIT system, so we'll need to do a few extra things uh, um, than normal. Um, I'm going to start off by logging into my Raspberry Pi system, and uh, this is... Uh, Putty, this is an SSH program that basically allows you to remotely access your Raspberry Pi. So that's Pi and Raspberry I typed in, and it gives you the usual stuff, so we can clear that off with a clear command. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the git core command. Before we do that, we need to update and upgrade our Raspberry Pi's software system so sudo basically gives you um, administrative access to everything so sudo apt get and update and we'll let it download any updates and software fixes and things it needs well actually all this is doing is, is refreshing um, all the libraries and letting our Raspberry Pi know exactly what's on the uh, the server that it's drawing these files from so that's the update process completed so now we're actually going to perform the software upgrades that we need to so sudo uh, not sudo, not sudo, there we go um, apt get and upgrade and this will then download all the upgrades and, and updates we need so yes we do okay so the update process has been completed and the upgrade has been completed as well so what we now need to do is install the um, git core so we're going to clear this off and go sudo apt get and type in install and uh, git hyphen core Yes, I want to install. So now that's been installed, we're going to clear off the screen again and then type in git space clone space um, git colon double forward slash uh, git dot uh, drogon dot net forward slash uh, wiring pi and next we're going to type in cd wiring pi and we're going to type in uh, jit or git uh, pull origin And uh, then we type in dot, whoops, dot forward slash build. And this will compile all the source code for us, ready to use. And there we go, it's all been installed. So we're just going to test everything, so clear. And uh, GPIO, which is the new command we're going to be using, hyphen V. So that gives you the version number and uh, also the revision of your board. So if you're not sure which revision you're using, you can check there. Uh, GPIO, uh, read all. And there we go. We've got values and we've got basically the, the status of our uh, GPIO ports there. So there we go. Uh, that's our wiring pi installed. So what we're going to do next now is um, actually build an electronic circuit ready to receive uh, commands from this, 
this new software installed and uh, and this will give me some confidence that my GPIO is working and that I've actually got all the wires and things in the right place because I'm using um, a modified um, PATA floppy disk cable um, so I need to ensure that uh, the, pi the, the wires are representing the pins I think they are um, so I'll be bringing those into the board and uh, turning an LED off so that will be the next video um, I hope this has been useful and uh, um, I hope you enjoy, uh, well, building things with your Raspberry Pi.